Hey cosplayers, I'm Skylar Osler, and in today's apprenticeship, I'll be teaching you how to make Captain America's shield using EVA foam, Neo Mini Round magnets, and polyplastics multiple plastic. Stay tuned. Are you ready to learn how to make a Captain America shield that is lightweight, looks great, is Comic-Con friendly, and can magnetize to your arm just like Captain America and the Avengers? Well, let's get started with some EVA foam. I have done everything I can to make it as easy as possible for you to replicate this build. Video. And I have included links to all the materials and the template in the description. Start by marking the center point of your EVA foam. Next, mark and drill a piece of PVC pipe according to the measurements in your template. Then using the PVC pipe, a finishing nail, and an X-Acto knife like a compass, cut out the outside circular shield shape. Do the same thing with each hole in the PVC pipe, this time making sure not to cut all the way through, just enough to score it 1 8 to 1 quarter inch deep. With your shield cut out, heat the surface to expand the gap between the rings. Then heat the foam evenly and give it a slight curve by running it over your knee. Repeat the process till it has the curve you want. Next, it's time to break out your template. You can get the template on my web store in the link below, and it makes this build a cinch. Cut out your template pieces A through G. Then roll out one half cup of softened polyplastics at a time into sheets, thickness number seven, using the pasta maker method I taught you in my Forging with Thermoplastics video series. Trace all of your template pieces onto your plastic sheets. Each template piece has a number on it, indicating how many you should trace of each piece. Then cut them out using a set of tin snips. I found that the most economical way to do it is after cutting out pieces from one sheet, throw the scraps back into the hot water and roll it out again into a new sheet, saving on plastic. Now that you have all your pieces cut out, let's start assembling them together. Begin with your A, B, and C pieces. These will become the brackets that go on the back of the shield. Begin by taking one A piece and attaching two B pieces to it. This will form the short bracket. Next, do the same with one A piece and two C pieces to form the long bracket. As those cool, let's move on to making the magnetic handle sets. Take two D pieces, heat them up, and adhere them together. While the plastic is molten, it is a good time to add your neodymium magnets to the center of this piece. Do the same thing once more to make a second one. Repeat the process of adhering pieces together with your E pieces, giving you two handles, and once more with your F pieces, giving you four pieces. Finally, let's put together the star. Take your five G pieces and place them in star shape. Heat them up and smooth them together. Now let's get these all put on the shield. Start with the brackets, then the handle pieces on the long bracket side, D in the middle, the E handle piece on the outside of that, and then an F piece on either side. Simply repeat this process, just facing the other direction on the short side bracket, to have the shield attach with magnets only. Or, if you want to go the extra mile, you can do what I did, and use a little extra plastic to attach a thin wooden dowel to the D piece, and use some plastic to attach the E handle piece around the ends of that dowel to make a functioning handle. Now for the star on the tree, oh, I mean, on the shield. Once the brackets and handles have cooled, and you are satisfied with the look, Flip your shield over and let's place the star in the middle. The main thing is to place the star so that the point is facing up when you hold the shield. As it cools, you can gently trace in the border, as seen on Captain America's shield in the movie. Woohoo! You have a shield! Now let's make it look like the real American dream. In working with foam, it is best to coat the whole thing in something like Plasti Dip before trying to paint. Then, using automotive paint, coat the whole shield in the silver paint. Follow directions for dry time on the can. Then you can tape it up and use an X-Acto knife to remove the center section around the star so you can paint it blue. When the blue coats are dry, then replace the center tape and remove the rings that need to be red and paint them red. Once the red coats are dry, you can remove the tape to reveal your beautiful creation. You did it! Now you know how to make Captain America's shield. One that is lightweight, looks great, and is easy to carry around at a Comic-Con and can stick to your arm with magnets. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this apprenticeship and you would love a Captain America shield of your own, here's what I want you to do. 
go to the description below this video and click the very first link you see. That link will take you to my Captain America Shield template page where you can buy your very own template. I've done all the legwork in figuring out the best way to make this shield and have it be proportionate to the movie prop. All you need to do is buy the template. Then just follow the directions in this video and you'll have a Captain America shield of your very own. So go ahead and follow that link, get your template today, and then let everyone know in the comments that you're one cool cap because you're on your way to having your very own shield. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and cosplay on my friends. Little plastic. Stay tuned. Where did my magnets go? You're wrong.